Hi! So today's video is going to be an unboxing with kitten sighting. So with this review I'm also... Well, yeah. Wait, with this unboxing I'm going to be doing a review also. I do already have a review on kitten sightings, but I feel like it's important to do reviews over again because sometimes stories will change over time. And I feel like if I'm going to model for a company, I might as well let you guys know what I think about the company too. Obviously it's going to be positive um, because I wouldn't be modeling with them if it wasn't. But why not just revisit? I'm a little bit upset right now because I did do an unboxing a couple days ago and I put a lot of filming into it and everything like that. Um, and when I was coming back today with how the color kept up and everything and the ears and my thoughts, I accidentally deleted the video. So I'm gonna have to do it all over again. I am, I did put everything back in the box so you can see how I received it. Um, and I'm gonna give you like what I thought in the beginning and then also right after I tell you what I thought about it I'm gonna tell you what I think about it now so it'll, it'll still kinda work out but it's not gonna be completely what it was last time which makes me a little bit upset but at least my thoughts will be a little more in tune now <laughs> I received in this box it's already slightly open because I'm gonna be showing you guys um, and it says fruit on it because that's what they they call me they call me fruit so hey that's me. Removing the tissue paper. Blah. I did receive two pairs of ears, which are the Kiwi Line ears and my collar, which in case you guys didn't know, some history about my collar. When I was under protection, um, I had a protection collar and it was extremely beautiful and everything like that, but some of the materials did cause damage to the collar itself. So um, it broke over time pretty fast and I needed to send it back. It took me three months to get the guts to send it back. Pup actually messaged me like a week ago and it was like, you, you need to go to the post office and send this in. And I was like, I know, but it's like the post office. I went anyway, sent it in after a day of repairing it. PK, who actually does the colors and ears and everything like that, she repaired it in a day, sent it back to me the next day and I got it back like a couple days ago, so it only really took like to be done, ordered, and everything like that, like four days, and I had it back, and it was brand new and everything. So the Kiwi Line ears, you guys eh, have seen it already so many times, like unbelievably. Like how many times have you guys seen me wear these ears? Um, so these are the Kiwi Line ears that are like the older generation because I have the new generation here now. I do still really like this style of ear. It's like one of my favorites ever and I can't fucking handle it. The fluffiness and the small cute little I just like how I got some new ones today and they gave me black and white and it's gonna be this month's release that I believe these ears are. So hope you guys are pumped to see this. These right here are the newer ones. Try to make it wiggle. Okay there we go. So compared can see these are obviously a lot fluffier and slightly larger um you guys do know I like my ears quite small because my head's really fucking small but the reason why I got new colors is because those other ears I fucking wore a shit ton and they were starting to red up like I wear my ears to hell and back. So with these, you can tell the little tufts are not on the top really that much anymore. When I first got them, when I first put on the ears, I didn't know how I felt about them. They're obviously quite larger, and on my head they do take up quite a lot of space, as you can tell. But um, now that I've worn them a couple times, I can say that I don't really miss the tufts on top anymore. Um, and I do feel like they just look slightly, like on this side they're like, oh they're cute. And then on this side where my head's shaved and it shows a lot more of the ear, um, they do look quite large. So I think it's just me needing to get used to it and also with my hairstyle right now, they do look a little bit larger. So I don't know, but I still really, really love them. Absolutely perfect. It's just hard to make ears look even with one side of your head shaved. So it's like... <laughs> but I do really like them. They are slightly larger, which isn't like completely on my side, but I do like how much fluffier they are. So that's definitely a bonus. Black ears now. For the black ears, they are slightly styled differently from the other ears. I have been wearing the black ones a little bit more because I feel like it's better for this hair 
color and style and everything. Um, but not only that, but they do look slightly smaller. White ears is usually when I'm like, but I love these. They're the same exact cubie line ears and everything like that. Um, I do like how these are cut and they are like a little more. I know. I like them. They're both the same, but I'm definitely going to be wearing the black ones a lot more. stop looking naked on my neck I will tell you guys more about the collar so here's my old collar the protection one Doo -doo -doo -doo. she brought me back the skeleton because I was like yeah I kind of want the skeleton back so look here it is I thought it was just nice to have like the old one back um I totally did not just do that but I'll fucking leave it in I don't care compared to the new one now Okay, so here's, oh god, since I've worn it a couple times, there's some hair on it. Da -da -da -da. Here's a new color. Oh damn. All that wonderful noise. Hey, what are you, hey, get, hey. Okay. Oh, the noise, the annoyance. Ugh. Very, very nice. This one's built definitely a lot better. I just want to say that it's not like the actual collar fell apart. I do really, really want to address this. So as you can tell, this collar is still completely together. It's still like BDSM proof with a bunch of dust. Um, it's totally fine. The problem that was with the old collar, these gems right here, they were so heavy and so sharp that it actually cut the threading. So the threading and how she attached this one now is different from the old one before. So this one is built a lot better and stronger just so we can have these heavy set gems. Um, not all their colors have very heavy gems like this. Like this color actually weighs a good amount. So I do want to make that point. The old color also used to stab me in the neck. It had the points. I don't know if you guys remember. But it had the points on it. It was like... So that, that was the thing put a paint on the gems so it wouldn't really like rust or anything like that. Uh, she bended the top part so it wouldn't poke me in the neck. She gave it stronger um, threading, or I, I don't really know exactly what she did, but it's stronger than what it was before. So they are staying a lot better and they don't move or anything. Uh, the dangles used to come off too, but she gave that a stronger wire, which is a lot better. And obviously nothing's happening to them. Um, they're perfectly fine, but obviously you don't want to use it like a punching bag. Um, but I'm just like showing you guys that Moving, diggling, and everything like that's perfectly fine. I'm sure if someone was like, Nurgh! it would obviously come off. But And then this piece is perfectly fine. But she did give it new lace, a lot lighter lace. And I believe she took off the lace that was on the top. Like on this one, it has lace on top. This one's it's nice and clear, which also kind of helps with it. And she gave it a new dangle pattern, as you can see. Long, short, long. But we did keep the original tag where it says kitten, which she engraved, PK. And then you guys have seen the lock on my collar plenty of times. She also engraved this one, which has uh, love, Alex's initials on it, and a P in the back for protection. But I also want to address that this is my protection collar, and this is my under consideration collar. Still on here, like everything, and it's still exactly how it was before. So I'm just gonna put it on now. On and it feels really comfortable. If I actually put lock on the D-rings, then it would be a little bit tighter, but it's absolutely perfect. Woo! My hair doesn't get caught in it as much as it used to. It doesn't stab me in the neck. Um, it is BDSM proof. 100%. Um, it makes a lot of noise, which is Definitely my style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything. I will be streaming uh, today, because today is Friday when this is uploaded, and also on Saturdays. So another question I received about the stream is, will I be playing games with viewers? I will be playing games with viewers, whether it's League or anything else, I do play more than just League. I'll be finishing, like, Life is Strange, I will be chatting to you guys in chat. If you guys just want to come to talk to me, or if you guys want to talk to other people in chat, because I know we have, like, little cute friends in there and stuff like that so you can totally come in other question I got was donations if I'm gonna be doing the like 
if you donate this much, I'll do like something stupid like this during the game. I'm not too sure. I do want to keep that kind of like 24 hour stream exclusive. You don't have to donate at all. I really, really want to pressure that. If you just want to come and chat, that is totally what the streams are for. They're not there for donations. Another question I got for my birthday, if I had a PO box for you guys to send gifts, I don't have a PO box, but I also want to emphasize that I don't need gifts, guys. I'm blessed and very happy with everything I have now. I don't need birthday gifts. I don't need anything like that. So don't worry. <laughs> Having a day with you guys on stream is plenty. So don't worry about that at all. So will be playing with Bubbles and Alex. They will be there whenever they have time. I know that they are very busy little bees. I hope to see you guys on stream, whether it's today or tomorrow. And yes, I love you guys oh so much. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you guys want to like the video, it does help the channel a lot. Or you want to subscribe for more videos, that is up to you. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Meow.